All right. Everybody stretch. About to get it in. About to get it in. All right. I'm not uh, I am not going to be allowing anyone else in. If you wanted to get in, you should have got in a long time ago. Um, so I can't be distracted by folks trying to come into the live after we've been started for like an hour or something. All right. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, yep, I can see that. You guys can see that. My ministry is Biblical Hebrew Awakening. This ministry started a long time ago, but I felt the drive to go and start doing live teachings back in 2015, 2016. And um, from that has been birthed the Hebrew Connect aspect of my ministry. All right. And this was, again, directed after so much censorship and um, hostility towards the truth and especially the awakening of Hebrew Israelites in this country. And so therefore we have HebrewConnect.com and we have Hebrew Connect TV. So if you want to get connected with your family members, I'm talking about Hebrew Israelites that are in the truth, right? All these folks in this space are, are awakened to the truth of who they are, right? So you don't got to fight nobody. You don't got to like, don't, don't, don't recycle old Facebook posts where you're raising against the machine on Hebrew Connect because we all woke. Right. So this is a place for you to build. This is a place for you to connect. This is a place for you to foster your gifts, your talents, your abilities. It's for Israel. So you don't got to wrestle with nobody about their identity. We know we Hebrews. Right. What you want to do. How are you going to build? How are you going to connect in your area, in your region? All right. We got to build. We got to grow. All right. Hebrew Connect TV. If you are a content creator, you can go to Hebrew Connect TV. All right. So if you are a ministry, right, whatever you got going on, OK, you could be doing clothing. You could be doing a cook, cooking type thing, cooking videos. Right. You can go and get that set up on Hebrew Connect TV. Uh, there's some great channels on there. One shocking surprise for me was the high level and quantity of quality videos coming out of Israel that you never see on YouTube because they're buried. You will never know about them. You'll never see them. Um, and there are some people that you may even follow, but you don't see all their stuff. You see a percentage of what they're actually pushing out. And so it's been a blessing to see uh, the great uh, content on Hebrew Connect TV. So if you do not have an account yet on HebrewConnect.com or Hebrew Connect TV, you know what to do. All right, let's go. We are live on HebrewConnect.com. We are live on YouTube, and pretty soon we will be live on Hebrew Connect TV. We are breaking down Torah foundation studies. It's time for us to get in this instruction. All right. Let's do this. First Hebrew reading. Unmute yourself. Let's get to this work. All right. Now we build and we're growing. Somebody tell me, what does this say? My. You can do it. <laughs> Shima Israel. Yahuwah. Yahuwah. All right. <laughs> Shema Israel, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Yahuwah Had. We should all know this. We should all know this. Mm-hmm. Bam. Let's go. Hear, listen, Israel. Yah, our Elohim, is one. Man. That was Deuteronomy 6, verse 4. All right. Y'all didn't know we were doing quizzes today? <laughs> Y'all didn't know we were doing quizzes today. Somebody tell me, what is the name of this book in Hebrew? Ereshit. Ereshit. 
And what does that book relate to in English? The beginnings. Genesis. The book of Genesis. Genesis. Praise y'all. I'm going to leave that up for a little bit. Y'all can look at it. Very, very good. Let's go. One more. <laughs> what is the name of this Torah book? Demote. Come on, y'all, in the chat. Demote. I need Demote. to see some more, something in the, in, in the chat. Talk to me, y'all. Exodus. Shemot. Exodus. Shemot. And that relates to the book of Exodus. We got a few more to go. What is the name of this Hebrew book? In the Hebrew, what's it called? Devarim. Say it again, that's loud. Devarim. 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 Very good. And that is related to the book of Deuteronomy. Let's keep rolling. What about this one? Y'all can do it. <laughs> Elephant Man got it. <laughs> Shout out to Elephant Man Podcast Network. He put a question mark in there, though. I don't like that. <laughs> we got to have confidence, y'all. Just say it. Yes. Yes. Numbers. 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 And that should be pretty easy. We're on the last one. What book is that? You're like, man, I don't know how to say that. First character is a what? Wow. Say it with confidence. It's a wow. All right. Yo. Second one. Yo. Okay. Kush. Got queer. Got queer. Why you cry? Why that's hard. I know. I know it's hard. <laughs> numbers. Yeah, there. there we go. All right. And that is in relation to the book of Leviticus. All right. Let's keep going. All right. Very important to break this down. We're going to do it quick. Here is your Paleo Hebrew. Some would say ancient Hebrew. Depends on who you with. They're going to call it whatever they want to call it. This ain't the original Hebrew. All right. So, I don't know who's banging pots and pans, but we can hear you. I can't see you, though. I got to look back. I think I'm All right. Was that Kathy? Yeah. Kathy, you bang a pots and pans? <laughs> no, it wasn't me. <laughs> I love y'all. What is this first character? Aleph. I need more than one person, the Aleph. same person, say something. Come on, y'all. Aleph. Aleph. Y'all getting all. Aleph. Aleph. What's the next one? Strong. Fit. A. Next one. Emma. Emma. Next one. Emma. Uh, All right, next one. Hey. 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 All right, what's the next one? Wow. 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 All right, here we go. What's this one? Dain. I heard somebody say it out of all that. Hey, Zain. 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 All right, what's the next one? Yeah. Yeah. 
What's the difference between this head and this hay? What's the difference? The the right. Who? One is breath, one is fence. I like Protection, that. Protection, surrounding. What about the pronunciation of it? Uh, it. Butter huh. versus soft. Uh, one could say legalistically by a book perspective, you could say guttural, but it's not, I don't like guttural. Throaty? Um, I wouldn't even say throaty. I would say breathy. Okay. I would say breathy for this one. I would say <laughs> sharp in pronunciation. Okay. Versus long in pronunciation. Can you pronounce it? Uh, somebody's audio sounds like what happened? What? Can you, can you pronounce the Zion and Kest again? If, is that okay, so say? Zion, it, you would say in the traditional, you would say Za. Yeah. Okay, but it's Zion in modern right now. We would call that in modern Hebrew. Uh, or biblical Hebrew Zion, All right? That literally, like, when you say, take me back to Zion, that's it. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's talk about basically hay versus het, right? I, I'm trying to say this, like, um, het pronunciation would be more like hip, hip. It's very sharp snappy okay or as hets is going to be more like holy like or imagine somebody with some really bad breath trying to talk to you right <laughs> it's very breathy hello it's, it's breathy all right um there's more to go into but we'll we'll get there later all right, what's this next character or word? Het. Okay, that's true. Uh, biblical paleo, it would be tha, like th sound, tha. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, modern, they'll say thet, but this would have been tha. Tha. Oh. This will be ta. This is ta. Pronunciation right now. What about this one? What is this character? Yod. Oh, yod. yod. All right. What about this one? Ta. Nice. Ta. Next one. Lamed. Lamed. What about this one? Mim. 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 This one. No. Mim. Noon or none, but it's noon. What about this one? Sameh. And this eyeball looking at you. Aye. 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 All right. The next one, what is that called? Hey. 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 And the next one? Zadi. Zadi, Zadi or Zad, uh -huh. right? Zadi. This one looking like a horizon coming up. Poof. Poof. Next one? Resh. Resh. The next one? Shin. What's the alternate pronunciation? Sin. Very good. Last one. Oh. Uh, 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 All right. Now. Let's keep going. Here is the biblical Aramaic Hebrew. Okay. This is a font. There's nothing different between this and this other than a modernization of the actual characters themselves. All right. This is different style of writing the exact same words that have the exact same meaning. All right. Um, let's just keep it simple. That's, that's what it comes down to. So, ah, ba, 
ga, da, ha. And what's funny is these, if you ever see them with like a little dot on the side, like or inside like this, right? When you're learning your Hebrew, it lets you know the native natural sounds of these is ah, ba, ga, da. It's natural. It's what it is. Okay, this also goes into the reason why it's on a simplistic level, no shade or slight to my brothers, okay? But when you deal with like some of these camp folks and they say Yahawa, they're just literally pronouncing each letter, string it together as a word. And that's the, the, the verb they choose to use. So Abba Gada, Yahawa, Yahawa Shai, right? So like ayin, right? For some, and when it comes to the ayin, it has an I sound. So primarily when you're dealing with the paleo, right? So phonetically, what's the difference in the sounding between the aleph and the ayin, right? Overall, throughout scripture, I found it's, it's very, very nuanced. It's very, very similar. But for those that are on the, you know, the paleo Hebrew thing and, and they've created their own form what they see you know the lashawan kadash right they're gonna say yahawa shai they're not gonna say yahawasha yahusha yahusha do y'all do y'all feel me y'all y'all you feel me right that's where the variances in the pronunciation of the dialect goes which is why you're gonna have some that say Yahawashai, Yahusha, Yahshua. There's variations in how they're reading the word and how they choose to pronounce the word. Any questions so far? I don't even know what you are saying. We good? Yes, we're me. good. Yes. Am I good to move forward? Yes. Praise Yah. All right. Check in with y'all. So, it's important to know this when you're looking at Torah foundational studies. Otherwise, any old body can say whatever they want to say, and you got no idea. Your only foundation is going to be how convincing were they? How enthusiastic were they? How charismatic were they to get their point across to me to believe them versus being able to read it for yourself? To read it for yourself. What does the script say for yourself, right? And so for me as a more and teacher, it's to empower you if you choose to be empowered to understand for yourself. Um, there are a lot of people that, and it's true, there's a lot of people within the awakening that um, anything that has to do they, that they perceive with the white man, and for those of you that don't know, the white man is an, an alias for the Jewish man. But people are too afraid to say Jewish man, so they just say the white man, because you can blame anything on the white man, right? Anything associated with Jewish people, they think, oh, that's a Jewish language. The Jewish people had to learn this. They didn't know this not even like 50, 60 years ago. They didn't know it like that. They had to go to school to learn it themselves, right? They spoke basically German writing Hebrew languages, the, the Hebrew alphabet. But they were speaking and sounding just like the other Germans and other Germans could understand them, right? So this is getting the pronunciation down so you know how to read. Um, there are a lot of folks that be like, they see the Aramaic font that's older than all of us combined, and they want to be like, oh, that's the Jewish people language. No, it's not. It's your language. You just forgot because you got cut off. All right. So as we go in, we about to get more into uh, the script, biblical Hebrew, like Biblical Hebrew being a thousand years old. That the books you're reading out of, whether you're in the Sefer or Hallelujah Scriptures or whatever else, 
was referencing the script. All right. So I need some, uh, some participation. Those of you that are bold enough to go with me, we're going to go through some of these languages. And then this is all going to segue in. You're going to see. So let's do it. First word is Aleph. Here is the Nikud symbol, Kamatz. What does that sound like? What is the sound? It's ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh. Next one. Ba. Ba. Ga. 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 Da. Da. Ha. 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 So when you're looking at your language and you see that symbol underneath it, you know it's going to have an ah sound. That's going to be the first thing you break off. So I don't care if it's pa, wa, ta, sa, ma. When you see that, you'll know it'll give you an indication of the uh, pronunciation from antiquity. Let's keep going. What does this sound say? Oh. E. 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 Because e. of that symbol, that one dot underneath e. the character e. is going to give you that E sound, and it's usually going to be uh, preceded by a yod. E. Yeah. Let's keep going. B. E. E. G. E. G. E. D. Like the letter D, right? D. E. So if you see a little dot, one dot, you should uh. know when you're reading it from right to left, that it's going to be an E sound, whether it's D, V, Z, whatever. It's going to be an E sound, okay? Let's keep going. What about this one? Oh. 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 When you see the dot at the top. Oh. Like when you see, oh, that's Tov. Tov. Your wob is going to have that right in there. Oh, sound. That is, if you see that, that's O. Bo. Go. Go. Go.